Welcome back guys to another video. This time, let's talk about ARK Invest. They are purchasing heavily into a company which recently got some pretty big news. And when you see ARK spending this much cash on a single company, you should probably know what's up because usually when they invest really heavily into a single stock, you should be hearing some major news and it usually goes up in the coming months. And ARK usually invests in very disruptive technology. It's like the complete opposite of Berkshire Hathaway which likes to invest in everyday consumer goods, banking, food. ARK, if you check out their top 10 holdings for the ARK K ETF, it's mostly Tesla, Roku, Square, etc. You get the idea. Super duper techie stuff. And if you check out their growth, I mean, it's up 300, 400% for the ARK W, ARK K ETF in the past five years. The S&P 500 doubles once every 8.5 years and half the fund managers on Wall Street can't even beat the S&P 500. It's honestly pretty crazy. So what's going on with ARK? Now, before we get started, definitely check out the free Discord server. Link in the description below. There's more than 21,000 members, and it's one of the biggest stock option Discord servers on the Discord platform, so definitely check it out. If you check out ARK at this current moment, they are increasing positions on their smaller areas, but they are increasing a lot of positions for C Limited. Ticker name is SE, and they totally have 730,000 shares and it's around roughly $144 million. The weight is 1% of the ETF, which may not seem much, but keep in mind that 1% of the overall ETF is still pretty big, especially recently, they increased their positions of C Limited by 100%. In a single day, and this was on December 4th of 2020, they purchased 366,000 shares of C Limited, which is roughly 0.5% of the ETF. I think ARK also had to sell some of their other stocks to pretty much fund this operation. And the thing about C Limited is they're getting some major news, and this is why ARK literally just blew $70 million on one single stock. They were super confident about this, and they feel like C Limited is definitely gonna be changing things up. And keep in mind, beforehand, they had roughly 350, thousand shares so they increase their position by a hundred percent when you see arc do this there is probably something super big going on so c limited recently the share prices have been going up and long story short this is pretty much kind of like a digital software type of company and once again arc doesn't invest in food stocks or bank stocks they invest in fintech e-commerce and also digital entertainment which of course C Limited has all this. And we also will be getting into the digital bank license with C Limited. But recently the shares have been increasing. In the past five years, it's up more than a thousand percent. In the past year, it's up roughly 400%. And of course, in the past month, these guys are growing. In the past week, it's also up roughly almost 15%. So C Limited is doing pretty well. I think the reason why is they're getting a lot of different catalysts for the company in the financial departments. You can see right here, C Limited just got awarded the digital bank license in Singapore. I think the reason why ARK bought C Limited was because of the bank license. Once you get this, it's huge because you could definitely expand your operations. Beforehand, people use AirPay to pretty much buy everyday items online and in retail stores. But now once you get this bank license, well, C Limited can make AirPay into more of a banking company than anything else. Consumers could store their money in it they could also use AirPay to get loans and financing. Keep in mind that this sort of thing isn't anything new. You do have Ant Group, which does the same thing. It's really fintech based. They have Alipay, you could purchase things online and in retail stores by using your smartphone. But at the same time, you could take out loans, you could mortgage your home, you could do anything you want. So this is pretty much like a digital banking system now. AirPay is growing. I think ARK knows this and keep in mind that FinTech is very, very profitable if you do things right. And at the same time, C Limited has three incredible categories that makes it so appealing. The first things first is their digital entertainment system. They make video games and also they do video game tournaments and so far it's getting bigger than ever before. Games are really, really big in Asia. And then they also have their own e-commerce store. This is launched in 2015 and it's catering in a lot of Asia countries and it's becoming bigger than ever before. Their reviews are pretty decent. The shipping is pretty fast and they have a large variety and huge selection. Then you got C Money, which you could use AirPay to purchase things using your smartphone. FinTech is getting bigger than ever before. And now once they get their digital banking license, I think ARK sees huge potential. Keep in mind that the CEO 
of C Limited is very capable. He's very, very strong. And I feel like C Limited will definitely keep growing. At this current moment, their e-commerce sites are expanding more than ever before. And once again, AirPay, one of their most profitable sectors of the company, has finally gotten their bank licensing. Can you imagine taking out a mortgage on your phone or a loan for a business or maybe you use it for car payments. You could do a lot of different things. On top of that, let's talk about the revenue. This is pretty important as well from 2017 to 2018. It's been growing by double digits and then recently it was going up by triple digits and falling for the 12 months ending in September 30th, 2020 was 3.5 billion, which is a 234% increase year over year. And once they get this banking license, this should be going up. Keep in mind that C Limited really does remind me of Tencent, which is a Chinese tech software giant. And not only do their buildings look really cool, but they also do a lot of FinTech financial stuff and also mostly digital products and games. And you probably have known that Tencent owns PUBG. So there you go. And so far, I feel like ARK knows what they're doing. Purchasing this many shares in such a short amount of time means they feel like C Limited will definitely be going up in the long term. Sure, shares are pretty expensive at almost $200 and the market cap is at almost $100 billion. I feel like it could definitely have room to grow, especially if there's more expansion. Keep in mind in the next five years, I feel like these prices will be very, very cheap. It's very similar to how a decade ago, everyone was super crazed about Apple, Amazon, etc. Now people are more interested in heavy software stocks, FinTech, digital entertainment, and also e-commerce, etc. So I really do feel like C Limited is a pretty good buy. Yes, I get it's pretty expensive, but look at ARK here. They blew $70 million in a single day for C Limited, even though it was at all time highs, meaning that they feel like C Limited could definitely go up even further. Because at this current moment, they're probably one of the biggest players in Asia. They mostly focus themselves in Indonesia, in Taiwan, et cetera, the smaller countries. They're not really in China, but I feel like they are expanding as rapidly as possible and even making a foothold in Brazil. So they actually may be expanding South America, which is also a very profitable sector. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. How do you guys feel about C Limited? ARK spent a ton of money on the stock, increasing their positions by nearly 100%. They're not messing around. They feel like SC this company would definitely be going up to the moon in the near future. Thanks for watching guys and comment below, definitely subscribe and make sure you check out the free Discord server link in the description below. Once again, more than 21,000 members, it's completely free. I have a really good time, we share plays and also check out my second channel. It's mostly focused on Tesla if you're really into that kind of stuff with really heavy news base and heavy edits. The best videos out there, in my opinion, really great Tesla content in the description below. And there's also Patreon if you guys wanna check out my moves and also my trades in live time along with the mods and admins. We actually make a lot of really incredible trades and show you guys our profit and losses for every single month. And recently we've been at a really good win streak, so definitely check it out as well. All right, that's about it.